In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Twisby Swipe Fountain Pen. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this fountain pen coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. This is the Twisby Swipe Fountain Pen. This is Twisby's newest fountain pen, and it is now their second cheapest fountain pen. So it comes in at $26.99. It's a bit more expensive than the Twisby Go and a bit cheaper than the Twisby Eco. The pen only comes in two colors as of right now, this sort of translucent smoke color, and then it comes in a solid blue, which they call Prussian blue. Now, having seen the Prussian blue in person, this I think is the most interesting looking one. The Prussian blue has a very flat look to it. It's, you know, if you want, if you want a pen that has a solid body and cap, then that could be a good choice. I didn't find it as appealing as this smoke color. It comes in all of Twisby's standard nib sizes, and with this pen there is no upcharge for the 1.1 millimeter stub version like there is on some of their other pens. So let's walk through the pen. Starting with the cap, we have this red finial with the Twisby logo. Looks pretty nice. We have these sort of cutouts here on the sides, and that's to hold the, the clip. The clip is this matte metal, and this is a very strong clip, I will say. I tried to put this in my pocket, clip it to my jeans, and I couldn't do it. Maybe my jeans are too thick, I, I don't know, but it is really a strong clip. It works okay with a pen loop. You're gonna kind of push on it a bit, so they really, they made this clip strong. And if you look, it really sits close to the cap. So, you know, it's not, it's not the most useful clip. Although looks wise, I actually think this looks really cool. This definitely is my favorite clip design of any of the Twisby pens I've ever had. I think it looks very nice. And if it doesn't work as a clip, you know, it works as a, a roll stopper, sort of. <laughs> okay, maybe it doesn't work as a roll stopper. Now, Going to the rest of the cap here, it's, you know, very straight. I don't believe there's any taper here. And, you know, we have clean cuts here in this sort of smoke plastic. I'm not sure that this is the same polycarbonate that they use for, you know, the Twisby Eco, the 580 Diamond, and, you know, the vacuum uh, pens that they make. It feels, in truth, a bit cheaper than the Twisby plastic that I normally really, really like. That's not a huge deal, but, you know, if you said... I want, you know, a higher quality feeling plastic. You could spend a little bit more and get the Twisby Eco, which also is a piston filler. This is a cartridge converter filler. Very interesting one, which I'll, I'll show in a bit. Now, coming down from the, the cap here, we sort of have almost this like ink window clear plastic bit here, which is round. And about till about here, it stays round. And then we go into this five faceted design near the end. Looking at the, the bottom of the pen, you can just sort of see that pentagon shape there, and it's sort of depressed a bit in here. Now we have the Twisby logo, which is raised and has a bit of a, a texture to it. Feels nice, looks pretty good. Taking the cap off, it is a friction fit cap. And then we have, you know, a clear grip section, which looks really, I think, very nice. You can see the, the nib here. This is the same nib that you get on the Twisby Go and the Eco. It is a smaller Yovo nib. These are really nice nibs. I, I like these quite a bit. Good looking design. You know, we've got the the Twisby logo on there, a little bit of scroll work. It, it looks nice. And this one that I have here is a fine nib. Plastic feed, nothing too exciting there. Now the interesting part of this pen is here. I have never seen a converter that looks like this. It's cool. It's a spring-loaded converter. And I've also never seen a, a pen, so this is the box, which is very small for a Twisby box. You don't get any, you know, tools for taking this pen apart like you do some of the other pens, but you get a normal converter here, which, and look at how big that is, by the way. That is a very big converter. And then we have a Twisby cartridge. Now, Twisby says that this 
the front part of this cartridge is the same as a standard international cartridge. So I haven't exactly tried it yet, but supposedly these work with standard international cartridges. Not 100% on that. Now Twisby gives you this spring, so if you wanted to, you can put the cartridge in here like normal, and then you can put this spring here, and Twisby says that this is to be used, optional use with a cartridge. You know, it's not needed during normal use, but the spring adds extra security for maximum engagement of cartridge during extreme movements, e.g. dropping the pen on the floor. That's very weird. I've, <laughs> I, I've never seen anything like that really uh, come with a pen. I mean, I, I guess if I thought I was going to be dropping the pen on the floor, the spring would be useful. I, I don't know. I don't think that the spring will work, you know, if you put in a standard international cartridge, this is a long one, but I would use a short one. I don't think the spring maybe would work as well, although it does kind of fit on there. I'm not sure. Very interesting. And it's also interesting that they give you these two converters. You get the standard piston one. And notice both of these have a little ball in there, sort of like you get in the Pilot Con 50. Also the Platinum's cartridges have balls in them just to, I think, help break up any air bubbles, help with the flow of the ink. Very, very interesting to get this. I've used this converter a couple of times now. I know this looks amazingly clean. I have a 1.1 millimeter Prussian blue version of this that I've been writing with. Once you get ink in this feed, the section, it's hard to make it this perfect again. So I just wanted to keep it clean for the purposes of showing this pen but i've had this pen for a couple of let's see yeah for about a week and a half now and i've filled my prussian blue one twice and i haven't had any problems with this kind of converter it's interesting i i do like it and i like that it's different so anyway they give you three options for the way that you choose to fill the pen you get you know the cartridge like normal you can use the cartridge with the spring if you want and you get the traditional piston converter. Let's do some size and weight measurements. So looking at the size here, we're looking at roughly 139 millimeters. I'd call that 127 millimeters. It does post quite nicely. And this is about 167, 166 millimeters posted. I really like the look of this pen. This is actually probably one of my favorite Twisby designs. I think it just looks really really nice now let's do the grip section i will say that this does have a smaller grip section there's a little ridge here where it kind of flares out so you don't you know touch the wrong part of the pen here so i'll go right up to that narrow part there about nine millimeters so it's not really that skinny but it's not a fat grip section by any means near, near towards the middle is 10 and at the very top you really wanted 11.4 millimeters so you know it's it's a full-size pen comfortable grip section not a fat grip section though so if you like a fat grip section you know this isn't going to be it now in terms of weight looking at 15.19 grams without anything in the converter but there is that spring converter in there uncapped down to 9.6 grams so this is a very light pen I wouldn't say that it feels cheap, but it's on the light side. It's very comfortable to write with for a long period of time. Let's do the writing sample. So this is the Twisby swipe, and this is a fine, and this is diamine bloody see. Ah, almost ran out of space there. Okay. I'll try some fast writing. With fast writing, we did get a couple of skips, but normal writing, I have no issues with skipping. Reverse writing, 
This works pretty well and it's not particularly scratchy, although you don't really get a huge difference in the lines, but it can do that. In terms of flexibility, you know, it's a nail. You're not really going to get any line variation out of it. And compared to all the other Twisbees with Yobo nibs that I've had, this is really, really good just like those other nibs. I am surprised to see a little bit of, of skipping, but really under normal use, there's no issues. So what are my pros and cons for the Twisby Swipe fountain pen? The biggest pro for me is that this pen is a great writer. It's a very comfortable pen to use. I also think that this is the best looking Twisby that they've come out with yet. Now, I also like that it comes with this weird spring converter, a regular converter, and a large Twisby ink cartridge. It's an ink cartridge with a spring. I suppose it's a little bit weird to get excited about a converter, but I'm seeing something new here and I think that's interesting and worth pointing out. I, I like that they're doing something different. In terms of cons, I would say that the plastic that this is made out of for whatever reason doesn't feel quite as high quality as the Twisby polycarbonate that I'm used to that you get on the the Eco, the vacuum pens, and the 580 Diamond. I, I'm not sure if it's thinner or if it's a different material or it's just in my head, but somehow it doesn't feel quite as high quality. Other con would be even though I like the design of this clip a lot, it's kind of hard to use. It's really, really strong. You know, I wasn't able to clip it into like the, the pants pocket of my jeans. It's just too tight. Other cons would be it only comes in two colors right now. I would like to see more colors in this pen. I'd like to see a, you know, completely clear one, but minor gripe. And that's pretty much it. Do you guys have this pen? Do you like this pen? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much, and until next time.